Hey y'all, so this is Brittany from the future. I had to jump on here real quick and place this in the beginning of my video because unfortunately I lost the footage of the actual unboxing and just going over the theme. So really I'm just here to kind of show you all what we got in the very beginning of that lost footage. So the first item that we unboxed is this coin from the Department of Magical Transportation. We can see here a brick background, a fireplace, and a green flame, which represents the flu powder. I love the shape of this coin. It's something that you don't typically see. And then on the back of it is more text that says issued to the senior ministry officer. We have a cross of a broom and wand, and it says, FNA, so I'd imagine it's Flu Network Affiliation, maybe Flu Network Authority, I'm not entirely sure, but this definitely is something that I guess would be handed to all senior ministry officials to carry with them at all times. So the next item that was unboxed is this Truth Telling Serum, which I absolutely love. At the very top of the label, it says Veritas, which is Latin for truth. We've got an eye in the triangle, but this is really stunning. I love the very kind of clear sort of look this potion has, but it's also got a very light blue to it. And it's just beautifully bottled. We have a silver wax seal top to make sure that nothing leaks out. And when you do shake it, you do get the beautiful swirly effect that we've come to know and love from all of these potion bottles that are bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. And I, I will sit here for hours just shaking these things up and looking at the beautiful swirls because it's very therapeutic for me. I don't know if it is for you, but I love it. And it's also a great addition to add to my ever-growing potions collection. The next item that we unboxed is in this box that says Unlocking Magic. So very curious to me because I had no idea what to expect. I do love the design of the box itself, but when we opened the box, we got a very beautiful key here in this kind of velvety, you know, foam placement. And it is the key to the minister's office. So taking a closer look at the minister key, we got beautiful ornate detail. We've got hints of red all throughout here, but towards the bottom here, you can see that it says minister and then the teeth itself make the letter M. But I need to find a way to display these keys. So if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. And the final item we were looking at right before I lost the footage was this. This is a wand holster that I was absolutely not expecting to get in this box. Lately, I've seen people who visit the Universal Parks often that you can actually buy a wand holster from the park itself. Can't tell you the price of it, but the fact that we got this already included in our box is super cool. You can see here this embossed Ministry of Magic logo. This is like a faux leather sort of material. We've got a little like clip here that you can hook onto your belt loop or purse or whatever it is that you use to, you know, carry your wands around, but you for sure can use your wand and place it in here. And there you have it. You have your very own wand holster. Not sure if the green is purposely done because I'm in Slytherin or all these holsters are the same color or not, but either way, very happy to have a green wand holster. Ooh, all right, this next item is really large and kind of heavy, but man, it's totally appropriate. I totally get the vibe and I think it's actually really well done. This is actually cool. It's a badge to show off that we are part of the magical law enforcement for the ministry. That looks straight legit. Like think of officers who carry around a badge to show, you know, hey, don't mess with me. I'm department head or whatever. So, so taking a look at this badge here, we have a dragon on top. Not sure if that would be the Ukrainian iron belly or not. 
uh, which does guard the vaults deep inside Gringotts Bank. But it says magical law. We've got wands pointing down and it says department head. This is really cool and it's in this really like brushed nickel sort of finish. We've got some leather leather around it but then the back we have a clip like you can you know clip it onto your pants or whatnot but does this open as well oh yep sure does okay so it opens velcro uh it doesn't look like you can put anything okay you can even wear it you can wear it on like your robes or something like that wow that is really well thought out of so yeah here is the badge by itself and then on the back you do have a very large uh, pin, safety pin, to uh, you know put it on your shirt, your robes, that kind of thing, or you can leave it in the leather uh, pouch thing. Not sure, quite sure what you call it, but yeah, this this is smart. This is smart to uh, kind of make it a little bit more versatile. That way, you can wear it however you choose to wear it. Let's take a look at the pin that's included in all Wizarding Trunk boxes. Y'all get the first look. Oh, my heart was not prepared for this. No, no, they did not. Oh, oh serious. Okay, fun fact. When I was reading Order of the Phoenix, when it came out all those years ago, I used to stay up all night so I could be the first in my family to read the book. When I got to the chapter where Sirius Black died, I cried so much. It wasn't even funny. I walked out of my room and my mom saw the look on my face and she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, Sirius died. And she's like, who? <laughs> so this pin of course represents the moment when Sirius Black died at the ministry, saving Harry and his friends from the Death Eaters. And this is the archway that Luna and Harry could hear voices coming out of. And this is where Sirius fell into once he was killed. Ugh, man, that's actually a really cool pin. I actually like the angle perspective that they chose to represent this pin in this moment, because man, it's such a heartbreaking moment. Like even in the movies, yeah, this moment here is one of the saddest moments, not only in the book, but in the movie. And man, now we have it forever immortalize in a pen so well done wizarding trunk well done all right let's take a look at some of the paper replicas that we got in this box the first is like a notepad this is actually very very thoughtful very practical use because i have to write things down otherwise i forget what i'm doing or what i need to get that kind of thing but this is the interdepartmental memo pad and i love that it's purple it's very indicative of those memos that we see folded up like paper airplanes flying around all over the ministry because owls, man, the mess was too much to deal with. But this says here at the top, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you can circle off, okay, this needs to be done on this day, your date, your to-do list, uh, potion slash hydration. Very, very important to stay hydrated, everyone. If you have to do a shopping list, priorities, notes, and then owls to send, which reminds me, I need to send an owl out today. <laughs> but yeah, we've got lots of sheets to complete these interdepartmental memos for ourselves. So I like this. I actually will probably use this when I have to do daily tasks. The next paper replica we have appears to be a confidential Ministry of Magic folder. Now this too follows the theme of the purple box and that purple interdepartmental memo that we saw. However, the only slight critique I have is that the green on the purple is a little hard to read. Not sure if y'all will be able to make out the text here on the front. It's supposed to provide the name of the report, but for me personally, I'm having a little difficult time reading what it's supposed to say. I do know it says report, maybe it says blood report magical is it magical registration commission like i said for me personally the green on the purple is really difficult to read here um although complementary colors works out beautifully so let's go ahead and take a look inside what's in this folder 
So it appears that we have a piece of paper that says wand registration for the Magical Registration Commission. So it gives full details of what kind of wand it is, the length, the wand core, weaknesses, wood type, amber. My friend over at all of Amber's wands here on YouTube would just absolutely love this, I'm sure. So this is actually a really nice paper replica. Um, if you choose to you know, write on it, you can put your own personal wand specifics on here. Wow, the reach on this is crazy. This is insane. So this is the second piece of paper that's in the folder and it looks to be like a family tree, but you see the stamps here, they all say counterfeit. Like this particular witch or wizard's blood and family is in question and they're suggesting that the family tree is not real and it's not, it's just not true, it's counterfeit. I'm like, whoa, dang, that's messed up. But during the time of Dolores Umbridge, heading up this whole division, not entirely surprised either. And the last piece of paper shows the blood status report of this witcher wizard. And you can get all the specifics here on this left side and then provided images on the other side. And getting really specific about any marks or scars, their lineage, their education, if they have any children, if they're married, like this is very detailed, very thorough, but this is very appropriate for the Ministry of Magic, especially when Dolores Umbridge was on a crusade. And our last paper replica looks to be a magistration identity card. This is cool. I think Danny did something similar on his YouTube channel a little while ago. So check out his channel for fun like tutorials printouts things like that he's got incredible stuff out there so yeah here we can see that we have our own identification card we can put our photo on here write in our name write in you know everything that pertains to us as the holder and things like that so that's actually a really cool kind of paper replica to have in our possession all right, I didn't know what to expect at all when opening this box, but now that I've opened it, it's like, duh, they had to include this. We have our own little red telephone booth, which is the visitor's entrance, if you will, <laughs> to access the ministry. But not only is it like a little statue figurine thing, it's a bank. It's a bank that you can leave all your money in here, your galleons, your sickles, your, is it nuts or canuts? Can never remember the proper pronunciation of it but yeah here at the bottom you have the little plug where you can you know take out all your money but yeah you have to have this as part of a ministry box because this is how harry and arthur enter the ministry in order of the phoenix all right this next box here is very very intriguing because it's blue it's got the gold foil that says the wizarding trunks i'm assuming this is going to be an exclusive, of course, from TWT. So again, have no idea what to expect. Uh, I'm trying to think uh, ministry related. Oh, if it was a, a prophecy, if it's a, a prophecy from the Hall of Prophecies, that would be really cool. No idea if that's what we're going to get in this box or the next box. <gasps> yes! Oh my God. Yes. This is so, oh my God, y'all. If you knew just how much I love wax seals, this is perfect. Perfect. That is amazing. We have a little wax seal kit with the stamp itself, a purple wax stick. And then if you look closely here, this is what the wax seal will look like. And it says from the desk of the minister. Oh, that is so cool. I wish I had this earlier because I am participating in a box swap and I use wax seals all over the box to make it feel more magical. Like it actually came from the world of Harry Potter. Ah, oh, this would have been a perfect addition to use and have this purple color as well. Ah, so excited. Wow, it's a good size stamp too. I mean, cause usually like this, 
like the stamps are a little bit smaller, but this is actually a really decent sized stamp. That is super cool. I cannot wait to actually use this and send off letters to friends, packages to friends, and basically say like this, this is official. This came from the desk of the minister. <laughs> this shot up to be my favorite item in the box, like for sure, for sure. Absolutely love, love this. I love wax seals so much. Any excuse to use them, I will. Yeah, so here we have the purple wax stick. If you've never used it before, you basically just light the wick here at the end and as the flame burns, the wax melts, and so you make sure you point it in the direction you want the wax to melt onto, and then you will go and use the stamp immediately on top. And as the wax cools, it leaves the impression, and you have a beautiful wax seal. Before we open the last big box, big box for Ron, we also have a book cover. If I'm not mistaken, it's to fit the UK hardcover editions from Bloomsbury. So if you have any of those hardcover books, this will fit on those books. This is probably for book two, Chamber of Secrets. All right here, so I can see that the end pages have the Ministry of Magic logo all over it, but let's take a look at what the cover is meant to look like oh this is very nice from what i can see in behind it we've got lovely gold foiling here always love good gold foiling but it says an unspeakable guide to magical mysteries and it too has the ministry of magic logo here at the very top so i see this name here at the bottom it says octavius dreadwear and i saw the name at the bottom of the magical registration commission pages so i'm assuming this has something to do with like ridding the magical world of muggleborns it's a reach y'all it's a reach but i'm trying <laughs> all right and the last box that we have in this ministry themed box it's another big box for ron it looks like it's crated like a wooden crate with the ministry of magic logo burned onto it oh <gasps> Wow, would not have expected this whatsoever. I'm not mad, it's not the Prophecy Orb. I'm not mad at all about it. This is actually a really, really cool replica, but this is a really cool statue replica. Holy cow, look at that. What a beautiful way to represent all of those in the wizarding world. You have a centaur here at the back, the tallest of the bunch. We have what appears to be a witch and wizard. Could be, you know, maybe a full blood or a half blood or muggle-born. Don't know, doesn't really matter because they all look the same at the end of the day. And then at the bottom here, we have what looks to be a goblin. And then on the opposite side, we have a house elf. All this sits on a beautifully ornate slab of cement i mean i say cement but you know you get the idea but this is just overall stunning the detail the drapery the paint job like this is really really cool i mean and just a once again a beautiful representation of all those involved in the magical world the wizarding world oh i'm i'm not I'm not mad it's not a prophecy orb i'm really really not that would have been a really cool addition to have but this is not something i've seen too too often if at all in any sort of subscription box or small shop love it love it absolutely love it wizarding trunk y'all really put a lot of thought into this and i think this was executed beautifully beautifully all right, y'all, so here is the cheat sheet for the ministry-themed box. On the front of it, it says Department of Magical Travel, International Travel Permit Application. So another form and another official form at that from the ministry itself. But let's take a closer look at what all of these items are from the box. Before we go over all the items from the cheat sheet, I do want to mention that the Wizarding Trunk did reach out to me along with others about an item that's missing from this box. 
Unfortunately, the box that delivered the creature page that we normally get in these boxes took a little swim in the Black Lake. So unfortunately, all those pages were ruined to the point that they just could not be included in the box. But do not worry. The Wizarding Trunk is not only reprinting those pages, but they will be included in the next box that we will receive, the next bi-monthly box. Now, if you're not subscribed to the bi-monthly box and you just bought this one as a one-off, be sure to check your email because the Wizarding Trunk did reach out to all of their subscribers to provide that information. So just check your email, make sure you uh, received it and follow up with them if you have any questions about receiving this page. They're great about getting back to their customers in a timely manner. The Wizarding Trunk presents the Magical Authority. An Unspeakable Guide to Magical Mysteries by Wizardry Workshop. This cover fits the second UK House Edition book. Magical Travel Coin by Here Be Monsters. Only senior ministry officials may travel directly into the ministry. Keep this coin on you at all times. Daily Memo Pad by JP Mistlecrow. Perfect for planning your day at work, home, or school. Portrait Pin, the newest portrait pin, perfect for your growing collection. Wand Holster, all wands must be properly secured during working hours. Work ID Card by Wizardry Workshop. This ID card must be completely filled out before your first day of work. Truth Serum, label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Veritas means truth, and that's exactly what the serum forces you to tell. This virtually clear potion is almost undetectable and highly regulated. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Minister Key by J.P. Mistlecrow. This key allows access into the minister's office. Minister's Wax Seal by Here Be Monsters. Documents stamped with this seal came directly from the minister. Telephone Booth Coin Bank. Perfect for holding both magical and non-magical coins. Entry Statue by J.P. Mistlecrow. This statue welcomes all visitors. Department Head Badge by Here Be Monsters. Congratulations on your promotion to Magical Law Department Head. And finally, Magical Documents by Wizardry Workshop. These documents must be completed while questioning those who may be lying about their magical abilities. And the next bi-monthly theme box will be on professors. All right, y'all, so let's talk about favorites and least favorites from this box. Now for my favorites, in really no particular order, but these top three are just very well done. I absolutely love the fact that we got our own wand holster because this is a great way to carry your wand fairly securely, I imagine, when you plan to go to the parks and you don't have to spend $30 or whatever the cost may be on this little leather thing. But now we have our own thanks to the Wizarding Trunk. For me personally, like I said, I don't know if all of these holsters are meant to be the same color or the fact that mine just so happens to match the fact that I'm in Slytherin. Love it either way. I think this is really cool. I think this is a great way to just keep your wand with you at all times. The next favorite item without a doubt is the wax seal kit that shows that the document with the seal came from the minister's office himself. I, I just, I can't express how much I love wax seals and having the opportunity to use wax seals at any given time. So that was really fun. Something completely unexpected and something I will definitely be using in the future. And the last favorite item should not be a shock at all, but this statue of all the magical beings that 
is represented in this visitor statue. You know, everyone's welcome. Very similar to that of the Potter community is that if you're brand new to the fandom or you're a longtime fan, doesn't matter. You're welcome to the Potter community with open arms. You know, I just really think this is a beautiful representation to showcase all likes are welcomed and I, I really absolutely love it. I can't wait to display this on my shelf. So that wraps up today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorites and least favorites were from the ministry themed box. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Brit's Magic Trunk where I will post pictures, stories, and reels. I really need to get better about reels, but be sure to follow me over there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and hit that notification bell. Lastly, don't forget to tell your fellow witches, wizards, and muggle friends about Brittany's magic trunk. I'll see y'all in the next video.